Hold on, question. A year ago, did you think that you'd ever be this excited about a bucket of shit buried in the ground? <laughs> We're Tyler and Todd, and a year and a half ago, we parked our RV in the middle of the Canadian forest and started developing a 10-acre piece of land into our dream off-grid home. From installing electric and water lines to our foundation and now building our geodesic dome home, we've been pushing ourselves to the limit to make sure we can live more comfortably than last winter. I feel cheap. <laughs> Today, we take some huge steps forward of building this simple life together in the woods. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, which helps us get introduced to more like-minded people just like you. Come along. So the next step in building our geodesic dome is to put up our insulation liner. This liner is what's gonna keep us nice and toasty warm this winter. Well, in theory, anyway. Hopefully. We're hoping. It's really cold. Like, every day it's getting colder and colder. Ooh, this is nice. It is nice. So this is this the is liner. This is way nicer than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. So, technically you're supposed to put it, it goes on the inside of the dome, and technically you're supposed to tie it on by leaning a ladder and like, going up and over, but that's way, way too high. And think of the size of ladder to get up there. We're gonna try and do it from the inside. Yeah. So we have the scaffolding set up in here already. Um, so yeah, I think that that's probably our best bet. Fingers crossed. I mean, if it doesn't work, <laughs> what's the worst that can happen, right? All right, I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna get to it. Close my eyes and feel my heart beat. Let the rhythm set my soul free. Well, that was an entire day of doing just the inside liner. Brutal. Yeah, I'm thinking we're a little naive um, with, our, <laughs> with our timelines. We totally thought this whole project was gonna be done in two days and I'm losing count of the days now. But it is looking really, really good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. The problem, like the reason it's taking so long See all these like little clips? They have to attach around the uh, galvanized metal and go, like the fabric goes in between that, sort of like sandwiches in. But they're so tight that like you really have to jam it and my fingers are <laughs> going on. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna pack up. We're gonna go home and get started on the outside liner tomorrow. So we'll catch up with you in a little bit. So, quarter after five and it's pitch black outside. That's the new normal this time of year. Yeah, we, well obviously, all of us are like week one into daylight savings time and it's really not depressing. Everyone, not everyone observes daylight savings time. Some no. people have live in modern places. Hey. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about daylight savings time to be honest. It I hate it. It really stresses me out and um, it's not a fun time. I need to be slamming back the vitamin D because just, I don't know, it's not the vibe. We all gotta slam back a little vitamin D every now and then, you know? Just to get that little back in our step. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, <laughs> as soon as I said it. I, I honestly sort of feel like with Todd, like I can't say anything, you but can't. you also, all of you watching, encourage it because in the comments you're like, oh, Todd, and then you quote him, and then he's like, see, they find it funny. Anyway, we're gonna make some food. I thought we'd give a little check in on all the little floofy pops. Oh, all right, well. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Do you want to say hey to the vlog, Eddie? <laughs> well, that's what's going on. We are going to make... Oh, also, we haven't updated. What? Our little girl is now a woman. <gasps> oh, yeah. So, um, we're new to having cats, and we're like, wow, Lily is, like, really affectionate. And then, all of a sudden, she started trying to get outside, and she was really vocal. And then she started spraying. Okay. She went into I don't want to get into all of the nitty-gritty of it all. She... We brought her to the vet and they were like, We oh. thought she was cute. Turns out she was horny and <laughs> she's now spayed. <laughs> I'm not including this clip. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, we brought her to the vet and they said it's time that she gets her spaying. So she got her spaying and... She's doing well. She's thriving. She said it's a new me, boys. <laughs> Oh, where did she run off to? She was hanging out right here. She's right there next to the oh. but she blends in. Where? Oh! <laughs> hey, girly girl. Little squirrel. All right, well. We're gonna make a shepherd's pie. <laughs> we can't include this in the vlog. <laughs> Well, well, uh, we're make, gonna make a shepherd's pie. <laughs> and that's it. Is that it? Yeah, I'm just making the gravy now to thicken up with the um, ground beef. <laughs> it's crispy on the outside, but pure potato gushiness on the inside. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Oh, that's like one bite right there. <laughs> that actually looks so good. Now for the taste test. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. And we never fully explain what shepherd's pie is. So you take ground beef, which we're using plant-based, and then you put vegetables in it, and then we made our gravy, which we made it really, really thick, almost like jello, and then you add it in. <laughs> And you're like, sounds delicious. It's so good. And then you put um, mashed potatoes on top of it and bake it in the oven. It's good. We charbroiled ours a little bit, so. <laughs> a little bit crunchy on the outside, but that's okay. Sometimes you forget your cooking. <laughs> I see your true colors. I can't see the colors, guys. So I'm cold blind. <laughs> All right, we're gonna down this. We head to bed. We have a busy day tomorrow. Holy good. So good. Who oh, I outdid myself on this one. <laughs> I'm not I'm not one to toot my own horn, but Hungry, toot toot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get into mine and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We ended up having sort of a little bit of a frazzle of a night last night. So to make a long story short, the crane company that was supposed to come and move the power shed and water station last week ended up having a cancellation, came last night and did it. Yeah, and they were supposed to be there in the daytime, like first appointment of the day, but apparently their first appointment was 6.30 at night, so. <laughs> anyway, that was a whole thing. But because that happened, it sort of set off like a chain reaction of events that need to get dealt with right away before we continue on working on the dome, yeah. so. Because we're building a house on top of the dome. Yeah. Well, not on top of it, but in addition to. I think, I think they knew that. <laughs> we're still staying at um, Todd's parents' place, by the way. We're hoping, fingers crossed, by next week that the conduit will be all buried and good and... I think that's optimistic. Oh, by the way, if you caught the live video that we did um, a few weeks ago, this is the damage that Todd did to the truck. Any guesses on how much... Well, they gotta replace the whole bed of the truck, so like this, and then the tailgate's ripped off. We can't open the gate. It's dented here. Eleven thousand five hundred dollars. But that's why you have insurance. Todd is definitely to to blame on that one. No, we don't know what happened, but things sometimes just don't work out. All right, we're gonna head up there <laughs> and get to work. If you've caught the last few episodes of the vlog, you already know how much we've been busting our butts building the infrastructure for the land, from our water lines to our power lines, and now today, building our own sewage management system. Obviously living completely off grid, there are no city connections that we can plug into. So when we flush the toilet or we take a shower, we need to make sure that we are treating that water in an environmentally responsible way 
and after months and months of research, we are taking the plunge, no pun intended, on the most cutting edge technology currently available on the market. It uses 75% less of a footprint than a typical septic system. On top of that, requires no electricity. We're really excited and it's pulling in the driveway right now. So we are just sitting here in absolute awe of the fact that months and months of research and planning and debating, are we making the right decision? It's all coming together. Yeah, there's no choice now because it's going in the ground. But Wait, hold on, question. A year ago, did you think that you'd ever be this excited about a bucket of shit buried in the ground? <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't. Me neither. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. So a little bit about how the system works. If you live in a city environment, you've probably never really considered where your wastewater is going. So every time you use your sink or you flush your toilet, it's traveling through miles and miles of pipe to a waste facility. But what we're doing is we're creating our own little waste treatment facility here on the land. So rather than going miles, it'll only have to travel a few feet and it enters the tank portion of the system. Once this is full, it overflows into the tipping bucket, which is designed to make Make sure that the system is being used evenly so it dips to the left to the right to the left to the right all day all night and then it goes through peat moss and coconut fiber which leaves us with hundreds of pounds of it by yeah the way. It's, it's really cool it's really really cool it's like a great big composting toilet yeah actually that's the best way to think of it so like as all of the effluent it's called we're getting very scientific here you guys so it trickles through all the effluent trickles through all of the coconut and the peat fiber and then filters and becomes clean water and then gets reintroduced back into the environment so through the leaching field. So yeah. it leaves the tank system, goes down, and then enters the forest floor. So they'll be scraping just off the root bed, and then it'll enter underneath that. Yeah. Anyway, we're very excited yeah. about it. It's just, it's another huge step forward in us realizing our dream. You might be wondering, by the way, like, how expensive is a system like this? Because normally when you do, like, environmentally friendly things, it can be more. Got a lot of quotes on the regular system versus this, and it was only $3,500 more. So for us, it was a no-brainer. The other really cool fact about this system is over its lifetime, which is 50 years, it will use 8.6 tons less of carbon which is super cool so yeah. it's a small trade-off plus the footprint would have been bigger if we went with a different system or we would have had to use pumps to pump it uphill to a different like a a new leaching field so yeah it's just kind of the best of both worlds for us the and best of both worlds. Oh, goodness. Well, anyway, we could talk all day about our bucket of <laughs> in the ground, but we have more pressing things to get to. Mel is coming back today to help me with the conduit, which is going to be super helpful. Yeah, and I've got Kenny who helped us build the deck platform. I say help. Yeah. <laughs> they pretty much led it, and we were helping them. But yeah. he's coming to do the stairs on the dome because we don't really have a way into it yet, and with construction really moving along with that, it's only a matter of time till someone gets hurt, so. Yeah, we need to build the platform up there. I'm gonna miss you today. Actually. I'm gonna miss you too, my little work buddy. I hate these days, but we'll just we'll reminisce have fun over wine. <laughs> we'll have fun later. Okay, we're gonna get to work, you guys. Okay. So things are progressing really nicely over at the dome. I had to step away because it's a little bit noisy and it's actually noisy like no matter where you go with the tools or the machines. So it seems as though right by the shower is the quietest place to give a little update. So we got started on the stairs, but they were, the beams that they're being built off of were not perfectly straight. So it took a little bit for Kenny to get it squared out, but huge shout out to Kenny because he was able to do it. And now it should be smooth sailing that it's all framed in. We just got to clad the top of the deck, build a couple stairs, and then we got a safe way into the dome. This is what it's like to love.
Honestly, it was touch and go there for a while if we were actually gonna be able to finish this, but Mel and I got it done. It looks really, really good. Happy that that is checked off the to-do list because the next thing that needs to happen is we need to have a plumber come out and make the connection from our deep water well that we had installed back to our power shed, which is right over there, that will get a company to come back and crane back in place. So when all of those things come together, we'll have water and electricity that can be distributed all across the property. <laughs> I was just updating them on my day. How'd your oh, day go? Good, the stairs look really good. And really? then now I'm using this, I found a new use. Instead of just using it for soil and stuff, I'm throwing all our scraps in it. And then I think when I'm done with this, I might drive it into town and load it with groceries. <laughs> <laughs> scoot, scoot, talk coming through. <laughs> what do you think of, are you uh, proud of me? Yeah, I didn't realize we were hosting the <laughs> United Nations Summit though. What do you mean? With all the flagpoles. <laughs> I haven't trimmed the condo enough yet, so they're just like... <laughs> Alright. All right. I missed you today. I missed you too. But I'm Wanna go home and be friends? Oh. oh. You were just gonna do more work? I was gonna. We can go home and be friends. That would be nice. That's, yeah. That seems like the correct dance. He's learning, you guys. Alright. Yeah, I'm just you. gonna park this then. Sure. I'll allow that one. See you at home. <laughs> What did we agree to? What? What did we agree to? Um, I just wanted to take the last load of garbage out of there. Just when I said he was learning. Smile! <laughs> Smile! You'll live longer! Alright, well, we'll see you when we see you. So we've been home for a little bit now, and I told Tyler that I was going into town to get some diesel because the machines are running a little low. But I also was... Hidden agenda. <laughs> yeah, so there's a new sushi place in town and they've got some plant-based options. So I picked some up for Tyler and I to try because... It's actually pretty exciting that like it's only a 20 minute drive away. Like being in the country, you wouldn't think that that's an option, but mm -hmm. it's in a little cafe. So in the morning, yeah. it's irrelevant details, but in the morning, it's a coffee shop, but then in the evening, it moonlights as a sushi place. Like, I really feel like a country princess because Tim Hortons has almond milk for oh, the coffee. We're moving so Our pizza far place has plant-based cheese, and now you can get sushi, like, who? Come, come live in the country. <laughs> You'll love it. <laughs> anyway, it just seemed like a perfect treat because through all this, I really gotta say, Tyler has been an amazing trooper. Tyler, what do you want me to do? Cut my arm off. Luckily, we did catch the tick within the 72 hour window. Yeah, if but... you didn't catch last week's um, video, it's just been, it's been a riot of a time, honestly. Yeah, it's been a real hoot. <laughs> Hooting and hollering. <laughs> anyway, I have been feeling just really tired, I guess, and low energy, but I think it was from the antibiotics and... Yeah, yeah. but that seems to have passed now, so it's on the up there's and up. No, there's no option with this one. Yeah, we don't pay sick days here, so you either work <laughs> or you don't get paid. So <laughs> luckily he's been working, we're still moving along, and <laughs> you're feeling a bit better, right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely feeling better, just sluggish yeah. and tired, but... Yeah. So, I'll perk up. Anyway, we're going to eat this sushi, and we'll see you next Sunday. See you Sunday, guys. Bye.